Okay, so I've got these two rods of each length 2L, freely jointed. Right, so I'm going to draw them underneath each other. So I'm going to draw that AB here. So that's A, B. And then underneath that, I'm going to draw B, C. B, C. A bit shaky today. Uh, so C, we've got 50 newtons going straight across there. We've got 75 newtons, the weight coming down here. What else do we know? We're going to have to find the weight of AB, so I'm going to put the weight. I normally put MG, but this one, since we asked for the weight, I'm going to put just W on there. And I know I'll do it in black. The length of that is 2L, and so is this one, 2L along there. It's got the angle beta in here, I'll do that also in black. That's beta, and this angle up here is alpha. Tan beta is three quarters, so that means that's opposite over chasing is three over four. So three over four, it's going to be a three, and that's beta there. It's going to be a three, four, five triangle. May or may not be helpful. Obviously here, between the, the two of these, there are um, equal and opposite forces at the pin joint at B. And if I could put them into, you can see what they're going to be, because that's 50 newtons to the right on this bit, there must be 50 newtons to the left on here. And if there's 50 newtons to the left, there's got to be 50 newtons to the right, because it's equal and opposite. And here, 75 going down, so there must be 75 newtons going upwards, and therefore there must be 75 newtons going downwards. And that may or may not help. So, first thing for three marks, I've got to show that tan beta is three quarters. So I'm going to use this one. I'm going to take moments about B for BC. And definitely worthwhile showing this. So I'm doing part I up here. I'm going to take moments about B. And I'm going to say it's for BC. And as always, I like putting the anti-clockwise moments equals the clockwise moments. So what have we got? Anti-clockwise, the one spinning around. I've got this 50 Newton bit. So I've got 50 Newtons would be the force, and I need to times it by the distance. And the distance is the distance of its line of action. So if I draw in the whole line of action there, you see that it's this distance here I want, which is equivalent to this distance here. And so that will be 2L sine beta. So times by 2L sine beta. And that equals my clockwise moment, which is just this 75 newtons. So 75 newtons times by, again, if I dot that back, the distance I've got is this horizontal distance, horizontal distance there, which will be the length will be just L, because it's only half the, the uh, way along. So it'll be L cos B. So that'll be times by L cos beta. And we know what's I'm going to find out what tan beta is, so it's obviously going to divide through by um, cos at some stage. The L's are going to cancel out, and I'm going to get that's 100 sine beta equals 75 cos beta. Divide both sides by cos beta will give me tan beta. Divide both sides by 100 will give 75 over 100, which is 3 quarters. So that's done the first bit. And now, given that tan alpha is 12 fifths, so if I draw in a picture there, that means it's that's my beta there, and that's going to be 12, and that's going to be 5, because opposite over adjacent, and that's the 5, 12, 13 triangle. Find the weight of B. Well, because of the equal and opposite forces, I can put, actually I've already put them in there, and I'm going to take moments about A, ooh, moments about A for AB. And I'm going to get, as usual, anti-clockwise moments equals clockwise moments. So what have I got clockwise, anti-clockwise rather? I've just got this 50 newtons. So I've got 50 times by, and the distance I want is this distance there. That's my... Uh, perpendicular distance to the line of action and that will be the same as this distance up here which will be 2L sine alpha so times by 2L sine 
alpha and that equals well first off I've got the 75 and that'll be 75 times by 2L cos alpha 75 2L cos alpha that'll be the distance we've got there and then it's going to be plus W times by L cos alpha and that'll give me a hundred oh, I can get rid of all the L's can't I the L's will cancel out always tidies it up so let's be a hundred times by sine alpha is well that shouldn't be a beta there that should be an alpha sine alpha is so opposite over hypotenuse 12 thirteenths so 100 times by 12 thirteenths equals 150 times by cos alpha so that's 5 thirteenths plus w times by 5 thirteenths obviously r times through by 13 I might as well say what I'm doing uh, that would be 1200 equals 750 plus 5w and that means that 5w equals 450 and so w equals 90 newtons and that seems to be quite a reasonable answer it's in proportion pretty good I'm happy that's question two done